Hi, I'm Yash Dilal and welcome to the world of business and econ. Uh, out with another video. This video will not be only about theory and textbook knowledge. We hate that, right? So today we will be learning about real life example of applying what we are learning. Okay, so by now we have, I know we have just started with basics of what is business management, but let's take one business model every week and try to understand it from the textbook point of view. So your textbook concepts will also be clear and you might get some more knowledge. Okay, so today we are going to learn about a very well known business. It is Urban Clap. Okay, this business is a very well known business. If you want any surveys, if you, uh, if you, your tap is leaking, you can go to the website or to its application and just call one person and you can, it can, he can fit everything what you want. So this application is well known, but have you ever thought how did this plan initiate? Because uh, when this company started at that point of time, there was uh, the online business was not so much explored by the people it was very new okay so because of this something new coming up how did this idea initiate and what was the history of this business so you can see three three faces on this screen right these are the three co-founders of the urban clap company okay so the first one is varun kai kathyan yeah, as you can see the name varun kathyan the second one is raghav chandra and the third one is abhiraj singh bal so these were the three co-founders who initiated this idea they started with this business they invested in the business so if you remember in the last video basic requirements of a business entrepreneur there are the three entrepreneurs so try to put in all the things what you have learned okay so first one was entrepreneur okay so we have the three entrepreneurs right here so basics of business management the first video if you have seen what are the requirements of a business land labor entrepreneur and capital so entrepreneur is here so but how did these uh, entrepreneur meet. So let us just understand the basic, like the history of this company. Okay, so you can see Abhiraj and Varun Kathyal. Abhiraj and Varun Kathyal knew each other. They were to working together in this company named the Boston Consulting Group. So they were working together. They, the Boston Consulting Groups, uh, is a company which is in United Kingdom. They were working over there. But what happened is that they thought, let us leave the job. So they left that good uh, job and they came back to India. Why? Because they wanted to start something new. The most important fact in this is that they were trying to dream bigger. Okay. So they were not, they were preferring that they should start something new. Uh, they should uh, do a startup and uh, they should go back to their own country and work in their own country by starting up something new okay so okay this plan of startup was ready okay but what will they do what is the uh, if you have thought of starting up something now what will they start okay because that was the biggest question if you are going into your own country and you want to start something new what will they start now there comes brainstorming so they try to research about market and they invented something like this cinema box okay so this cinema box is an invention by them so they made this product and they actually sold it and uh, it it was sold in the market but it was not for the consumers okay so it was not for the normal uh, people in the market. No, it was for a, another company. Okay, so these cinema boxes which were uh, invented, these were sold to other traveling companies because this was a product which was in, inserted into the 
uh, vehicles. Okay, so if you have, if you are traveling in an airplane, okay, so you can see a small screen on which you can play video games, you can uh, watch movies. So that screen, that whole thing, that whole setup was made, and this was sold to the traveling agency or the one who is inventing. Uh, I mean, the one who is uh, producing buses or vehicles. So it was inserted in that okay so this was not a normal consumer product you can't buy you as a normal person you can't buy this product because you are not manufacturing any car okay so it was sold to other manufacturers okay so this business worked out okay but while they were in this business they met another person Raghav Chandra so we are there with our three characters the three main characters, the co, the founders of the business are over here. So, via a mutual friend, uh, Raghav Chandra was introduced to these two people, and Raghav Chandra was a technical guy. Uh, he uh, was working on a website uh, in which you can book an auto rickshaw, and that website in the uh, in that time it was known as Boogie. Okay, so. He was working on this website where you can book auto rickshaw online. So these three technical guys met each other and of course they were all the three had that aspect that they used to dream big. Brainstorm and try to understand what market wants. And this brainstorming and this um, motivation and this kind of attitude helped them to start up a business which is in front of you, Urban Clap. Okay, so they dissolved the company, the music, uh, the cinema box company, and the three people came together. The initial investment in order to suffice labor, that is your first in last video, if you remember, labor, capital, and land. So to suffice this three, we need finances, okay? So this finance was bought in, which was 10 lakh. So initial in investment of these three founders is 10 lakh, okay? So they started the new business, okay? So what was this new business? So Urban Clap is basically about providing services. So what did they do is, um, they understood about the market gap. So they were um, now they knew that okay, the market gap is that people in India are uh, searching for plumbers, electricians. These are some necessities for uh, people in India. Okay, so they uh, require plumbers, they require electricians, they require a parlor kind of stuff or etc so these were the basic things in india which people needed but they couldn't find they needed maids so these were things in which there was a gap okay so the requirement of market and availability had a gap and they tried to fill this gap with the use of technology so this is a screenshot from their own website so abhiraj bal that is abhiraj singh bal was responsible for marketing and product growth at Urban Clap. Okay, so our uh, marketing and um, product growth that means trying to understand the market, trying to sell the product to the market to make awareness and product growth. Product uh, growth is nothing else but trying to evolve whatever you have, evolving new products, evolving packages, etc. So this was done by Abhiraj. Raghav Ch Chandra leads technology and product development at urban club so he also used to try to develop the product product over here doesn't mean anything what you can touch over here product is packages of service which is placed in front of the consumer the best pricing and all that and the last one varun kathyan which was responsible for operations and service provider so he used to look after um, whether the uh, people are there in his company uh, to provide the services. So contacting with people uh, and trying to uh, do this, you have to do, go to this place. Okay. So these were the things what were um, 
uh, what came under his department. So these were the three people who tried to uh, do their job to their fullest and they tried to create this company such like gave this company a very big name okay after this the be the main strategy which helped them to evolve was filling the market gap because of their attitude first of all they wanted to have a very big company uh, they were ambitious because of this and secondly because of so much brainstorming they were trying to pull out something new for the market so this thing and understanding the market helped urban clap to grow so big okay so uh, trying to fill the market gaps was very important now how did this start this started in december 2014 in 2014 december they started by designing an application in 2014 uh, internet was uh, people were aware about it and it was working very good but still people had sense of doubt that uh, uh, what about uh, transaction of money and all that people were not completely secure it was something new at that time as well it was not very common like now okay so urban uh, clap tried to fill this gap using technology so this was a challenge for the business because uh, that in that time because this is a very new idea first of all it is a very unique idea but unique idea brings in uh, goodwill to the business but at the same time there is a sense of risk because sometimes unique idea is not accepted by people so fast but uh, trying to advertise trying to give the best service helped them to grow okay so now what is their business model so basically uh, they work on commission basis so their whole business model is uh, based on commission how for example if you want uh, if say uh, it is diwali festival coming okay uh, now you want to clean your whole house so you can go on a web, uh, urban club website or you can go on their uh, application and you can search that I want a person to clean my house. So what they, will they do? Initially, initially what did they do is they had a, a call center number. So the call was directed to the call center of urban club. Okay, so now in call center, call center when you call they used to check the availability of people okay so they check availability of people whether they have people to send to your house and then they will give you a reply that okay at this time you, uh, a person will come at your place and uh, the person can do that work okay so what happens here is that person will charge some money of course he is doing work to earn and that charge is to the urban club okay now urban club adds some money over it that money or that 10 uh, that amount is added on it and then you pay that amount the added amount okay so there is a percentage which is added researching about it we got to know that about 10 to 20 percent of commission okay because the activities are ranging so much like it is from smallest thing that is plumber and electrician to designers okay so this was a very um a very uh, wide product range okay so their product portfolio product it means services so their services that is the portfolio of that company it, it provided a lot of things okay so let's say it's beauty things uh, how, house cleaning plumber electrician uh, house designing so many things were there okay so because there were so many things the range of uh, commission was 10 to 20 percent so if it is a big thing they will take 20 percent if it is a it is a plumber if plumber takes 200 rupees in that if they take 20 percent it will be so less for that plumber right so they take 10 percent 7 percent so that way they used to earn so the transaction between 
first is between the plumber and the urban clap and urban clap adds some pricing and that is showed to you okay so that amount is goes in urban clap's pocket and the actual amount what that person asked for goes in his pocket that way urban clap earn now it is very um, normal that if you're starting a new business you can't start with uh, providing cleaning services you can't start with so small things because margin also is low and you have just started website uh, investment on website is also there so to cover all that what was their strategy is starting with big things so event managing uh, house interior things so these things were uh, taking bigger amounts okay because it was taking a great amount from the customer because interior decoration of your house requires a large amount and then you have a person who is actually doing that so that person will require some money and they will charge more because the commission will be higher because it is just start of the business okay because it is just the start of the business in order to cover the um, in uh, the costs which were spent because it is starting from a scratch and it is a new market so in order to earn more at the start they try to start with something some uh, try to start with bigger services not house cleaning uh, salon services all that services came later on but initially they started with big services because commission at on big services is higher and first and secondly uh, if they are providing big services, it would be easier for them uh, because right now customers are less because they are at the initial stage of their life cycle. Okay, so at this point of time, the uh, there are the consumers are less if they are providing bigger services. At this point of time, if they are providing bigger some services, commission will be high. Okay, so they can cover their initial cost. Now with these strategies and everything they they were successful they are they were quite successful in around one and a half year there were five thousand users now if this grow if the company growth is so faster it is very normal that they will attract investors okay because of their company style they actually attracted so many investors okay so this is the list of investors who actually invested in the company so it was Bessemer venture who invested then asl who invested 10 crore uh, they received a seed investment seed investment is initial investment okay uh, from saif company uh, they got around 1 million dollars uh, then they also got an investment from Snapdeal who recognized that this company will grow big and then there was Tata, Ratan Tata who also invested in this company okay so at that point of time people thought that this company will be like Flipkart and Amazon okay this company will grow very big okay because how they were growing they just got 5000 users in just that city or uh, at initial stages it was just one city then they tried to grow and they were in going into uh, different cities they were around in eight cities at that time later on uh, after hitting some success okay so five thousand users in one and a half year this was a very big number because in generally it is said that if there is a new company it takes around five years for that company to sustain in the market and then you can earn profit but this company actually got a lot of success just because of their strategies uh, how did they observe the market all these things gave them this okay so there was so much there was so much investment okay now uh, what is in some of the website I got to know that home services startup urban company formerly urban clap okay so it was also named as urban company later on uh, he has reported 103 percent year on year rise in revenue to 216 crore in 2019 to 2020 and account of demand in its beauty and wellness vertical the service startup reported 106 crore of revenue and loss of 67 crore in fiscal year 2019 you can imagine started with just 10 lakhs 
started with just three people now they are to these numbers because of the observation power dreaming big a good attitude and the way they were trying to manage their business how did they divide the work in three people okay so it is a it, it's not about just learning from textbooks it is about how you can understand people are working okay so you can get inspired by these things okay so starting up a new business um trying to uh, get strategies from people like the main thing what you can learn about from this example the urban clap example is that you have to understand the market okay you need to understand what people want okay what are people searching for then you need to try that can you fill that gap if you can fill that gap you is it that if you are filling that gap in this way for example online way it was a risk because a people might not accept it so fast but gradually if you are providing good service anyone will get attracted to you and uh, doing advertisement there were so many actors and actresses who were trying to promote this application and also there are many many competitors there uh when urban clap was launched they were just launched and this was a uh, opening of a new market altogether okay because this was something very new when they were they were launched there were so many companies there i would like to just show you so these are the names of the companies so it was urban clap urban company or urban it was initially urban clap then urban company uh there were so many companies which were evolving house joy helper premend urban pro then you had pro for you mr home triangle time savers so there were so many companies which were trying to evolve in this market which was inaugurated by urban clap so there were so many companies so the competition was also high so how did urban clap manage now comes the uh extension of your life cycle here is the most important concept now how to survive with these many competitors they started new uh coupons they started uh trying to ex uh, advertise in digital market the social media market okay so on instagram uh, celebrities used to share posts uh and they used to give free services to them so that uh, they can uh, uh advertise on their instagram hand handle or facebook handles so this way they used to try to uh, sustain in the market with so many competitors and the last and the most important they used to give credits okay so if you are getting this service they used to give you some credit so that you will come next time okay so they don't lose their customers so they try to um uh keep the number of customers with them by credits coupons um uh, advertising so this were these were the strategies which they followed and this way a business sustains so this is really really very important it is not just an example it's an inspiration so if you like this video if you found this video to actually help you out to think on something do like share subscribe and hit the notification bell because there are new videos coming up